Grayson and I are gonna draw our three baby owls and we're gonna use our ha closed hand to draw the body. So I'll do the first one and we're gonna trace your closed hand but you do not need to go super close to the fingers. It's just to get that oval shape so you can do the rest. Just stop like right here. Good. And my hand is too big to fit three, so I'm going to use your hand on mine. So. their eyes and you can go ahead and use Sharpie. I'm just gonna so, trace them through. Okay. You want to do that fine? and really on these little owls all we can see are their eyes and their little beaks so we're going to draw an upside down triangle for the beak and then the eyes remember the video we saw the owl's eyes look like they're open really wide And it looks like he's blinking. <laughs> okay, do the other ones too. Ooh. Yeah, the big eye. It's okay. Big. He, he has a little eye. Upside down triangle, good. Love it. And the third one. You're kind of mixed up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna draw, we can go ahead and close the shapes here to go for at the bottom of them. Okay, and on mine, I'm going to draw a branch because they're all sitting on a branch, but I'm gonna, wait, I'm gonna draw the line not touching the bottom here. I'm gonna draw it a little bit below so that I can then make it look like their feet are gripping onto the branch. And that one, we can't see the bottom of, that's fine. And mine's a little low. So there's my branch. And now I'm gonna make their little legs and claws gripping onto this branch. Sometimes you can only see two of their claws or their talons gripping the front because one is gripping the back. So, oh, add them to your branch.
fluffy. So we want to show the texture. And first we're going to make some little dashed lines and circles around their eyes. I'm making a pattern. Mm -hmm. to make it look like they have those fluffy feathers and on the book that we looked at um, and the baby owls in real life their their feathers are very beautiful and have patterns or designs on them so you can either continue to make little dash marks on the body or you can kind of change and do sort of little U marks and dash marks and that will make it give that fluffy look If you have room, you could either make, even make some wings kind of like that. This, their wings might be out a little bit or they might be close to their body and we might not be able to see the line. So either one's fine. smaller than yours and I'm sort of doing it quickly you're focusing on each one which is great so keep going and don't forget the wit the texture on the wing because the wing would be just as fluffy as the body too On yours, you don't have a lot of room uh, for your branch, so but you have more room up here. And the owl would not just be on one random branch out in the forest. So there'd be more branches around. So let's make it look like a branch is coming off from the side, cutting across this way. And you might want to make it extend so that it starts here and goes all the way across. Good. Yeah. And then you can add some little branches off from the side, little twigs with leaves on them.
we know that owls are nocturnal, so they're awake at night, and these owls are very awake, so we know that we're gonna make our, our sky black or, you got it, we're gonna make our sky black or purple. So uh, it's a great idea to add a moon, and I'll do a crescent moon as well. So now we are going to start adding color, and most owls are um, a brownish, tan, gray, type of color so we have some crayons and you can make your owls kind of brown or tan or gray whatever you want are you gonna fast forward it yes okay <laughs> Grayson, tell, tell us about these up here. What are those? The owls have discovered a new planet, Jupiter. So what are all these things? Eleven moons. Awesome. And so the next, we're going to check back with you after you paint the sky. So do you know what color you're going to choose? Yep. What color? Dark blue. All right, cool. We'll see how it looks. finished. Grayson, did you enjoy it? Mm -hmm. Good. I love yours. I love that you made them three different colors. I love that they're exploring Jupiter. <laughs> and I can't wait to see everyone else's, right? All right, bye. Bye.